But, but, but I mean, let's face it, they've got bigger problems than square words, haven't they? I mean, there's Christians, they've got evolution to deal with. They're a lot more offended by evolution than they are by swearing. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, I actually think that you know, evolution is the reason why we have swearing. And it goes all the way back to the primates, right? Now, you think about a baboon. Now, if it was enough for a baboon to ward off predators by just painting its buttocks bright red, would it ever have developed all of that crazy screeching? I don't think, it, I think you, know, you know the sound I'm on about. Kind of reminds you of that old song, Ride on Time. Are you, are you doing that one? <laughs> no, come on, please give it to him. One more time with feeling. That is awesome. Doom, 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 doom. Awesome. What's your name? Sarah. Big hand for Sarah. <laughs> Sound effects. Amazing. So <laughs> if it was enough for them, they wouldn't even need to make that noise, right? And the thing is, this is true. It is definitely true. You know why? Because it's how I finally stopped the Jehovah's Witnesses from coming around. <laughs> it's true. Oh, come on. I went through it all. I tried slamming the door in the face. I tried throwing buckets of cold water over them from an upper story window. Didn't work out too well. We lived in a ground floor flat at the time. <laughs> uh, our upstairs neighbor, Roger, was quite perturbed to find me turning up at his doorstep going, Roger, Roger, you've got to let us in. It's an emergency. I must have access to your master bedroom with these buckets of water. It, you know, it's not a great excuse. Uh, <laughs> so there I was, stuck now. How am I going to stop the Jehovah's Witnesses from coming around? And uh, I, it occurred to me, I know what I'll do. I got the old paints from when our daughter was little, and I went to bed on Friday night, and I painted my buttocks bright red. And there it came, 10.30 on the dot. It's got to be Jehovah's Witnesses. Right to me, come on. Who else is awake at 10.30 on a Saturday morning but annoying to us? There it is. <laughs> it's, that's their knock. It's always something cheerful. That or this one. You know, not this one. Because that's the police. Right? <laughs> <laughs> always something cheerful, though. So they're lying to you before you've even opened the fucking door. So there we are. I'm all prepared now for my... My excellent predator dispelling uh, trick. Open up the door. Two people standing there. Obviously Jehovah's Witnesses. And I say obviously Jehovah's Witnesses because they were obviously Jehovah's Witnesses. It's uh, <laughs> These people have no idea how to dress. They, they, they don't. I mean, who's familiar with Harry Potter? Yeah. You know when the wizards have to dress up as muggles? And they get it completely wrong. You just got these wildly incongruous combinations of uh, clothing being done. This is what I'm faced with when I open the door. There's a tall man standing there, bare top, wetsuit trousers, a warehouse coat, and a mitre. <laughs> Next to him, there's a shorter woman. She's wearing a black leather bra over a roll neck sweater, collots, and boxing boots. I think they're Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> So I turn around, and I drop my bombs, and I show my bright red buttocks, thinking victory is mine. And I turn around, and they're still there, completely unfazed. Hello. We've come to rob your children of the joy of Christmas. <laughs> They'll never have another birthday again. So at that point, what am I supposed to do? Evolution just took over, and I found myself going, fuck right off, fuck, fuck, fuck. They disappeared so fast, it could have been the fucking rapture. But that's how I got my new boxing boots. <laughs> and my black leather bra, it's very comfortable. 